Woo, my volume was loud. Yeah, I um, I still have not gotten any videos and won't be getting any videos on my other channel. <laughs> Just been too busy with stuff, but I think Friday and Saturday, that's all I'm going to do. And um, if I were to look at the weather, yes, <laughs> that's all I'm going to do. And uh, hey, it gets nice and sunny on Sunday. That's good. We like that. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so um, I'll get to them. If y'all know the Telling Truth to, to channel, uh, Michael's putting in some work and I've, I've done a, a lot of movie tells and prep and so forth. So just, uh, that's all, just going over everything. Got a lot to do. All right, so let's continue on in Acts. Very tough. It's very tough to teach Acts because there's a lot of misleading uh, teachings that come off of Acts, and you have to straighten them all out. And so the way things are worded, you have to put things in perspective. There's a lot of perspective stuff that goes on in the book of Acts. And um, so anyway, You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And so let's think about that verse for a second. Or that, that it's not even a verse. It's just a, um, it's just one sentence in the New Living. You will, be my, you will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria and the ends of the earth. After saying this, he was taken up in the cloud while they were watching, they could no longer see him, and they strained to see him rising into heaven. Two white-robed men suddenly stood among them. Men of Galilee, they said, why are you standing here staring into heaven? Jesus has been taken from you into heaven, but someday he will return from heaven in the same way you saw him go. That's pretty deep. Every eye will see him. So, um, yeah. Matthias replaces Judas. Then the apostles returned to Jerusalem out of Mount of Olives, a distance of a half mile. They arrived. They went into the upstairs room of the house where they were all staying. Here are the names of those who were present. Peter, John, James, Andrew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, Matthew, James, Simon, Judas. Get to the rest tomorrow. That's not Judas um, that betrayed Jesus. It's Judas, the brother of James. Judas Iscariot. Okay, yeah. Judas Iscariot versus Judas on uh, James. Judas Iscariot, son of Simon Iscariot, one of 12 disciples. One was called Judas, son of James. The other was Judas Iscariot. So just, just uh, be clear. That's all. Let's move on to Daniel. And a stone was brought and laid upon the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet and with the signet of his lords, that the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. Remember, 
that you know the law of the Medes and Persians changeth not. Then the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting. Neither were instruments of music brought before him, and his sleep went from them, from him. So he didn't sleep. He, there was no joy in his evening. He was very unnerved because he loved Daniel. And he also was one of the kings of the mystery Babylonian system, but was called to the Lord. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice. Lamenting means, you know, he's upset. Into Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O oh, Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God whom thou servest continually able to deliver thee from the lions? And Daniel said unto the king, O oh, king, live forever. O king, live forever, meaning. A greeting fit for royalty. Basically, it just comes out of Daniel, but it, it was a greeting, you know, to kings. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. That was terrible. My God have sent his angel, Daniel said. He said, oh, king, live forever. My God have sent his angel and have shut the lion's mouths that they have not hurt me for as much as before him, Enosi, was found in me and also before thee. O oh, king, have I done no hurt? In other words, I'm not hurt, king. Then was the king exceedingly glad for him. And commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den. No manner of hurt was found upon him. Because he believed in his God. All right, that's the end of today's study. Ask questions anytime. I love you very much. That's what I'm here for. Just, you know, answering your questions. Okay, love you.